Let's see some of the properties of union of sets. Property number one. This property says A union B is equal to B union A and is known as the commutative law. Now, you would have seen all this in your rational numbers and everything, your addition and multiplication for integers and all. Now, what does this mean? I will reflect this to you through a Venn diagram. I'm not drawing the universal set, but let's call this as A and this as B. We know that A union B is basically this shaded area, right? Now, if you ask me, what is the common area if I were to say B union A? Even then, this is the common area. Let's say, suppose you had 1, 2, 3 is equal to A and B is equal to 3, 4, 5. So what will be A union B? A union B will contain all the elements of A, which is 1, 2, 3, and all the elements of B, 3, 4, 5. 3 is already coming, so we ignore it, and we write it as 4, 5. How about the reverse one? B union A, so I'll write everything which belongs to B. Union A, so we add everything from A, 1, 2, 3. So 3 I don't write. Now if you see the two of them, both of them are equal. Why? Because this is what we saw earlier, that if the elements contained in both the sets are common, let's say each element of A is present in each element of B, and B, each element of B is also present in each element of A, then both the sets are equal. A is equal to B. So therefore, A union B is equal to B union A. Let's see the second property. A union B union C is equal to A union B union C. Again, so if suppose you had C is equal to 5, 6. Now A union B you know is this, union C. So A union B union C will be what? It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is this thing plus this, 5 is common, so I just add 6 here, is equal to A union B. So first I need to find out B union C. B union C is equal to what? All elements of B, 3, 4, 5, union C. This will not come because it's already here, 6. Now if you have to find A union B union C, so you first list out A, 1, 2, 3. B union C is this, 3 is already there, so I ignore it, 4, 5, 6. So both of them are equal. So this law also holds good. And this is called the associative law. Which means that whether you add A to B first and then to the total add C or you add B and C first and then add A, it really doesn't make a difference. 